Hey, it's your fertility goddess, Rhonda, here again, here with another metaphysical tip and trick to help you improve your metaphysical life. First, I want to wish everyone a very happy, safe, healthy, and prosperous new year. May all of your desires be made manifest in a positive way, of course. So, what we're going to talk about is we're going to talk more about the importance of shielding objects. We've already talked about how important it is to shield your TV set because of all the emotions of the actors and the actresses and the negativity of the news and the things that come at us through our TV set. But there are also um, other objects that we commonly use that it's equally, maybe even more important for us to shield. One of our biggest culprits of negative energy is our phone, be it our cell phone or our landline. Why? Because people call us with bad news. Maybe your mom's ill and she calls you up and she's not doing very well. Or one of your friends called and they had a breakup or they got uh, lost their jobs. There's a lot of negative energy that can come through the phone and it's, you're even more susceptible to it if you have it at your ear, it's getting injected right into your body. If you have it on speaker, it's still projecting right at you. Or the Bluetooth, it's the same thing. So what you want to do is you want to shield the phone. Now the way to practice this is preferably if you have someone to practice with you. They don't have to be outside of your home. They can be in the house with you. You can sit across from each other or they could be in their own homes, wherever that is. But what you want to do is you want to have an open connection between the two of you. So you'd call the other person and leave the line open. Even if you're not talking, just leave it open. And what you do is, while the line is open, go ahead and just feel the energy of the phone to get an idea of how it feels and how that energy interacts with your energetic body. And then what you want to do is you just want to pass your hand over it and say, shield it, to see if you can feel that energy um, become dull or tap down so that it's not projecting at you so hard. And then if you want to unshield it, because people call us with good news as well, it's just unshield. Now, a lot of my students have found different ways that work for them, so I want you to try this in a couple of different ways to see which way resonates the best with you because you know I always say that we are not cookies made from the same cutter. So I personally, I like to go across. That works for me. Some of my students, they like to go up and down for shielding and unshielded. Some of them use one hand. Some of them use both hands. Some will go diagonally. It all depends on which way works for you. So try across up and down and diagonally on both sides. If you have to try one hand, try the other hand, try both hands. See which way works best for you so that you get the maximum coverage. So our phone is not the only object that I want to talk about today. Another source of negative energy is our computers or our tablets because a lot of us we read or listen to the news online or we can be happily on Facebook and then someone will post that you know they had a loss in the family something that can negatively impact us so again the same way you would do your TV and the phone is we shield and we unshield and again try the different positions to see what works best for you you can up shield unshield or diagonally with one hand with both hands Go ahead and try to see which way works best for you. The other thing, we've got two more left. One of them are keypads. You go to the grocery store, you go to the ATM, everything's got a little keypad on it that we're touching. And imagine all the other people that have touched it before you and that energy has gone into it. So what you want to do is go ahead and shield the keypad. Now if you're uncomfortable doing that in the grocery store, shield it or unshield it, I personally don't care, but if you do, then what you can do is you can start practicing just saying the word. Shield it and then picture, visualize, feel or imagine 
that filtered shielding going over it as you say the word shielded. We talked about filtered shielding in another video that you can go ahead and look up and just say it's shielded and again picture, visualize, feel or imagine that shield going over it so that you are not subject to all that energy that other people have put into that keypad. And it is important to start practicing saying the word and um, picturing or imagining or feeling it depending on what your sense is for our next object which is the furniture of other people why how many times have you gone over to your friends or your family's house to commiserate over a loss or an illness or whatever negative energy or, that, or negative things that are going on in their lives and you just plop down on their furniture Consider your own furniture, your favorite piece of furniture, be it the table at the kitchen chair at the table or your couch where you sit there, even your bed where you sit there and you laugh and you cry. All these emotions go into that furniture. So if you're going over someone's home and you know that there is a negative situation going on and you just plop down on the furniture, you're plopping down in their negative energy. It's the equivalent of just sitting and submerging yourself into somebody's dirty bath water. We don't want to do that. So if you know you're going to go over there, just go ahead. If you're with other magical people and they don't mind, you can go ahead and use your hand positions to shield. Or, again, you can say shield it and picture, visualize, feel, or imagine that shield going over that furniture before you sit down so that you don't have to worry about absorbing someone else's negativity. So we're going to talk more about um, more advanced shielding later on, but for now, this is your fertility goddess Rhonda here with another metaphysical tip and trick to help you improve your metaphysical life. And with the new year, we bless you with the power, wisdom, guidance and ability to go ahead, pursue your dreams, and bring them to your positive fruition for a better life for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Please visit my website at www.healinghannagoddess.com where you can get classes, readings, all kinds of great stuff for you. And thank you again. Please share this with a friend. Namaste.